let's talk about your central character because uh, she's pretty. She's neat. I like her because she's um, she's not perfect. She's nicely screwed up, and I like nicely screwed up people. I know she's she's healthily screwed up. I think she um, she's a teenager, so all the, she has insecurities. But at the same time, she's you know she doesn't like to moan and complain too much. And I love her, Apple. She feels like a second daughter to me. Yeah, so I, I want the best for her. And she does screw up like any teenager. And she goes through the same thing. But you know what? It's not just for teenagers. I mean, the central theme of this is obviously friendship. And, um, you know, boy trouble, of course. But yeah, no, she's a good, she, she's a good egg. And most of the kids on the books, like, obviously are privileged. They live a privileged lifestyle. There's a bit of partying, but it's more in the background. Um, so it really does focus on friendships and things like that. So she, she's good. She does a few, you know, normal teenage things. Um, but she's a, she's a good person who does something bad. There's a difference between bad people who do bad things and, and good people who do bad things. She's a good person who found herself doing bad things. Mother-daughter relationships are just the most fraught, I think. Tricky, sticky. But when your mother is like Dr. Phil uh, Mina, because she's a pretty much, yes. I mean, she's like Dr. Phil, except she's a woman, right? Yeah, she, she's, you know, on that level. She's a very famous advice columnist, and she's on a TV show. And it's a bit of a kind of sexy, you know, woman meets two boys. Which one does she go for? It's, you know, it's, so it's audience participation, and she's, she's quite famous. So she not only has to deal with someone who everyone knows her mother, but she also has to deal with her mother. So she's a double whammy against her. Mom gives advice professionally and doesn't turn off that faucet at home. No, and because every mother wants the best relationship with their daughter, especially in this day and age, every mother wants to be best friends with their daughter. So Dr. B.B. Berg, that's Apple's mother, she, um, yeah, she wants Apple to open up to her, but she's, an, you know, Apple's a normal teen. She does want to tell her mother things, but also that's her personality. She's, she's called the sponge Apple, so she keeps uh, everything to herself, which is complete opposite to her mother. Um, yeah, and Dr. Berg, you know, she spends her day asking, do you want my advice? And uh, Apple won't share with her what's going on in her life. Your friends of this age are everything, right? Your friends are everything, because you have to, you see them more than your parents. You see them at school all day long, so... Oh, and you want to see them, Yeah, too. you want to yeah. see them. And yeah, so they become... So she has two really good friends. One, Brooklyn, who's like a yoga fanatic, and one named Happy, who's her real best friend. And Happy, of course, I mean, all girls feel this about certain friends, that Happy is just the most beautiful girl, and she has everything going for her. And she really, I mean, sh she really does, Happy. She's, But she's also a good, you know, she's not a bad person. She's a good person. She just happens to be extremely beautiful and uh, the boy that Apple really likes likes her best friend and that's uh, honestly this situation happens in teenage years a lot but it continues to happen in your 20s and your 30s I've heard people in their 50s go through this so yeah it's, it's like a never-ending issue uh, the, the the boy the boy Zen Zen have to a word about a word about uh, names first of all uh, and I went through the, because they all have Brooklyn, Apple, and like when I went to school it was Mike, David, you know, there was always a, a Liz or two in class. They were very normal names. And then, now they have all these freaky names, and then I uh, remembered I named my son after a Dungeons and Dragons character, so I'm also <laughs> responsible, You're responsible for you adding another freaky name. Well, you know, it's funny because I read a review of um, Ron Apple, and one of the, <laughs> One of the things was she said, the, the reviewer said, oh, you know, in the names, they're interesting, but they're borderline comical. And the fact of the matter is Zen, I actually based that name on a little boy I know named Zen. Apple, I did want to name my daughter, but I wasn't allowed. I knew a girl growing up named Happy. Um, Brooklyn, I know a ton of Brooklyn. So they're actually not that comical. They are out there. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, that generation. They're all, they've all, you know, thanks to Gwyneth Paltrow's and people like me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But Did I you think name it's your own daughter something weird? Well, I named her Rowan. So, I mean, it's it's different without being, Too oh, much. my God, yeah. what did, you know. But um, I wanted to name her Apple before Gwyneth, but I wasn't allowed. I, I think you're onto something with this. I think you've got a real gift for this. Because at the end of the book, um, I, uh, <coughs> maybe it was allergies or something, but uh, my eyes got all... Uh, Teary? 
Yeah. You cried, I know. I did. It's really... It was cathartic. I know. I like cathartic books. Well, see... You think less of me for having having sobbed uh, like a 16-year-old at the end of your book? No, because I could barely... I can, Even though I wrote it and I read it a billion times, I can't read it because I just... I mean, it hurts. Because you know what? I think it brings back your teen years. So you think about just... It's worse for a girl. You're, you're a guy. You have no idea what it's like well, to be a teenage girl. Uh, okay. Well, we, well we can have <laughs> that de- we'll have that debate later. Um, but yeah, I, I could say there are, yeah. It's rough. Yeah. It's rough. But um, yeah, there's going to be a, a part two of Apple, so. The book is Rotten Apple, a first fiction work from journalist and author Rebecca Eckler and Rotten Apple, published by Doubleday Canada.